Malaba hakashata maha Monde colorosa Bliro shata Ila ratash How can a pastor finish preaching and break down? Finish crusade, can no more move legs and hands That's controversy If that was happening before Because you have identified with this mandate In Genesis chapter 13 Verse 5 The Bible says And Lot also That went with Abraham Had flocks Had herds And had tents Had flocks One, two, three, go count them Had herds Those who controlled the flocks Had tents Where the herds and the flock will stay why? Because he went Because you are, have identified with this grace Every contradiction in your life I attack it from the foundation I attack it from the foundation Let me your name like thunder There are many believers who are suffering from controversies. Mysteries are only dissolved and only resolved when controversies are dissolved. Can I say that again? Mysteries are only dissolved when controversies are resolved. In 2 Timothy, <laughs> Chapter 3, verse 16. It says, without, 1 Timothy 3, 16. It says, without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. Without what? Mystery. Without controversy. Great. So, mysteries are dissolved. When controversies if you want to see the mystery of godliness, he said, remove controversy. Without controversy. Great! As I began to study the controversy of the raven, God began to show me certain truths inside the controversy. Number one, I saw, now look at this. Birds carry whatever they carry with their beak. Is that true? And they fed Elijah. How much will bird carry? <laughs> that will feed a man. And you know what he was feeding, feeding him? Flesh and bread. They fed him. And I was asking God. <laughs> How much with, with the mouth, bed, carry, and the man will eat and be satisfied? God told me. He said, the bed had to walk over time. I am a shanda. Even if they have to keep supplying for the next five hours, can I prophesy? Your helpers will walk over time. <laughs> Until you are balanced, they will not stop until you get help. They will not stop until you arrive. That amen is looking for my trouble. Number two, they fed him with bread. And flesh. Ayakomo ho sahanta bliko shehiria indorokosa. What is bread? Bread in the Bible speaks of the word, but not just the word. It speaks of sound word, present. Tense. Don't forget, it's a man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded. 
the bread is there and there's the flesh what is flesh flesh is reality that is why I said the word was made reality reality until you carry bread and make bread flesh you will not be satisfied there are many of us who are eating only bread and you have been eating bread eating bread no flesh there has been no reality in your life I want to prophesy as I'm commanded that every word of God that has been spoken over your life after now it shall become flesh I say it shall become flesh you will handle your testimony. Ah, you will carry your baby. You will get a job. Your doors will open for them. Your marriage will manifest. Your wedding will manifest. I say you can manifest. I say it will manifest. I say it will manifest. I say it will manifest. Lift the way, shout, I receive, I receive, I receive. I receive. Shout, I receive, I receive, I receive. I receive. Shout, I receive, I receive, I receive. I receive. Number three, when I studied that controversy, he said, he brought it brought bread and flesh in the morning and where in the evening God understand seasons there is morning season there is evening season in heaven there is no winter there is no summer there is no hamatan there is no rainy season it's only morning, evening. Life is in seasons. When people stop supplying you in the morning, it means their season with you has ended. Don't kill yourself. When people end their season, they go. Oh. God said to Moses to Joshua if you rise Moses my servant is dead is my servant but he's dead it's a new season after God after Moses God raised Joshua after Joshua God raised Judah they said who shall go and God said let Judah go The Holy Ghost could not come down until they replaced Judas with Matthias. As soon as there was a replacement. You know, God told me this afternoon, as I was resting, he said, son, many people are crying over what they call a heartbreak, not knowing it was a change of season. People didn't leave you. It was season that changed. Ayahamaka. You see, there is nobody in my life that can hurt me. Nobody. I can't sit there and cry over anybody. You know why? I understand if he does not permit it, it can happen. Now let me tell you, somebody was insulting David and the servant drew out the sword to kill the, the man insulting him and David said, stop. If the Lord had not permitted him, he wouldn't do it. You are, cry, you are crying to me, you are wasting your tears. Wasting your tears. Morning and evening. Now, everything the Bible, everything Bible is sweet. Oh, everything the Bible is relevant, relevant, relevant. 
God could have said, fed him daily. God could have said, fed him what? Daily. Why was he specific on morning? I understand season. But I, there's something I like. Whether it's in the morning they go, or evening they go, bread and flesh must come. It doesn't matter when they stop supplying. Even if one helper walks out of your life, even if one helper jumps out of your family, even if somebody walks out of your ministry, don't cry, don't weep. Your enemies will not have the last say. You will have the final say. There is a change of season and a change of level. I say it's a change of season and it's a change of level. Somebody say my season is changing. Sit down. The fourth thing, is it the fourth now? I saw about the controversy. He said, and God spoke to the raven. You are suffering because you are the one talking. Let him talk to them. <laughs> I know the struggle. Oh, pay my rent. No, buy me a car. Give me money to travel abroad. Pay my children's fees. Change this vehicle. I want to go into importation of rice, beans. I want to sell jewelries. Let him talk to them. I am a shah. Somebody say, my helpers. Hear the voice of the Lord. Say, my helpers. My Of the Lord, he had the voice of the Lord, he yeah, 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 had the voice of the Lord. Yeah, the voice of the Lord. Yeah, the voice of the Lord. Somebody shot fire, yeah, 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 yeah. somebody stop talking let him talk say stop talking let him talk wait wait Jesus began ministry at the age of 12 12 12 till 33 so 21 and a half years he didn't work he didn't labor but he had a house of his own jesus had a house if you read mark chapter 2 the bible say and it was noise abroad that he was in the house not a house in the house if i tell you meet me at the house what do i mean my house he was rich but all he had the bible said that was poverty compared to what we should have meaning even a landlord is poor a landlord of one house is a poor man if you read John 19 you will discover they casted lots for his clothes you don't cast lots for rags And the Bible began to describe it. He said the clothes was moving from top to bottom without seam. No join, join, no join, join. Now we've already made. No join, join. Without seam, no stitching. One time he was lying, he was sitting down in a boat. 
and he was, Bible says, sat on the hinder part, rested his head on the pillow, first class. He said he was in a ship, and there were other little ships, convoy. Yet, Second Corinthians, I think eight nine or nine eight or so. He said he was poor. He was rich, but he became poor. That we through his poverty, a man flying first class. Some of you are running your mouth that you bought first class ticket. Bible says poverty. Now people they own the plane. People own it, and they don't make noise. They don't shout, and they own it. Quiet jet somewhere, and they are not shaking. They are not screaming. And you, you fly first class, you are making noise. I told God, I said, in this town, we will build airports. This town. This town. You, you, you will see. Helipad for chopper, airport for plane. It will happen in this city. That amen is looking for my trouble. That amen is not of God. Speak to my helper. Why would God say, God said, I have commanded. Oh, man of God, everything in the Bible has importance. Oh. When kings are anointed, in the Bible, when you anoint a king, there's a specific oil to anoint a king. And there are quantity. If you exceed the quantity, the king will be in trouble. And there is quality of the oil. <laughs> oh Lord, help me. In Exodus chapter 30, if you start from verse 25, you begin to see the different spices that makes up the oil. There are five. Go and get my tapes on the anointing. I preached it. Five. And I said what each of them mean. There is calamus. There is cassia. There is ma. Five of them. And each of them have importance. Oh God. So, to move to the place called there. Get ready for control verses. If people have not called you name, God cannot give you a name. If people have not called you names, if people have not suspected the source of your wealth, then you are not rich. There is a way you get so wealthy that people suspect you and you start suspecting yourself. <laughs> when I began to prophesy by the Spirit of God, a lot of people said it was gimmick. See, it was, it was arranged. It was game. After a while, when it became too real, they say it's demonic. <laughs> hey, we know we know he didn't arrange it, but I didn't know it's demonic. You see, this will have a problem. If a herbalist sees things, they say it's powerful. If a man of God does things, it's diabolic. If a politician makes money, he's a rich man. If somebody in church makes money, he's not a believer. But am, am I saying? If they go to a herbalist house, the herbalist tells them a few things. Hey, Baba, get power. When a man of God is prophesying, you see some other people they are speaking in tongues to discern him if he's real. They want to check him. They want to, they're looking at him. I've seen that several times, several places. I'll see pastors in some altars as I'm prophesying. I turned to one of them one day I said, bros, I'm the only prophet here. No network. For you, no network. 
I said, I've seized the network. I said, you can't pick anything. I've seized the network. You see them behaving like that? I look at them. Were. You know what were means? Google it. Go and Google it. Go and Google it. Were. A full fool. Anuri, Anum Pama. Number two, I, I, I'll stop at number two. He said, Go! And you'll find a widow in Zarephath. Close to Zidon. Please, when you study your Bible, nothing is just there. These things have significance. You will find a widow in Zarephath. Close to Zidon. Now, watch this. Watch this. The second thing you encounter on your way there, he said, when he saw this widow, he said, make for me. And the widow said, this is all I have. He said, bring it. On your way there, you must be ready to take risk. Only those who take risk rise. Risk takers are high flyers. He said, Zarephath, close to Zidon. To take risk, you must make sure you are located in Zarephath. Only those in Zarephath have the capacity to take risk. What is Zarephath? A furnace of fire. If you are not on fire, you cannot take risk. What is Zidon? Zidon means a land of fishing. What does fish mean in the Bible? Fish means doctrine. You know doctrine? Doctrine. A pattern of living. A belief system. Like a commandment. This is not an opinion. It's a belief system. So, now, now follow me. I, I, I'm taking my time. You know why? I want it to enter. I'm building so that when, when, when I'm done, you can have something to take home. He said, you will get there. Now, risk. Let me tell you why you must take risk. It is more risky not to take risk. Look up. <laughs> Can I explain to you? Hear this, Pastor. The woman said to Elijah, I have oil, corn in the cruise. Pastors, hear this. And I'm gathering two sticks to dress it. Make I ask you, can two sticks cook food? It is risky not to take risk. Because if that woman had not given that meal, she would have still died. Because two sticks cannot cook food. You carry two tiny sticks, you want to make fire. That will cook meal. That has oil. That has corn. You know corn? When a person has something on the fire for a long time, they will say, now beans you they cook. Now corn. Am I correct? When we were in, we were in school, now so so beans. So, you have hot plates then. So so beans. That is why if you go to a student atmosphere, the perfume. Two six. Can I ask you a question? A man of God this morning was calling for a hundred thousand. Some people were sitting down. You know why? What they have in their account is eighty thousand. And they have to pay their rent in the next three days. Their rent is three hundred thousand. How can you raise it, humanly speaking? 
in this present economy, it is risky not to take risk. Whatever cannot meet all your needs is a seed. Whatever cannot meet all your needs is supposed to be what? A seed. God knew that having Jesus alone as a son and keeping him cannot bring more sons. No matter how he loved him, he sold him as a seed because he could not meet all his needs. Number two. I'm talking about risk. Are you getting something here? Are you getting something here? Number two thing I saw there that struck me. Elijah met a widow. When you meet a widow, a widow is, you know what a widow is? Someone who's lost a husband and has a child. If you study how it started, Elijah just met the woman. When you meet a widow, if you are sympathetic, what you should tell the widow is, how is your condition? How are things? The first Elijah said, hey, hey, make for me. He didn't ask any question. When God wants something from you, he doesn't care what you are going through. God is not democratic. God is autocratic. Hey, God does not check oh, whether you are at the point of death. When you want something, he wants it. God doesn't check what you are going through. He only sees where you are going to. of the shadow of death I will fear no evil listen to me church it doesn't matter what you are going through God is not moved by needs known he is moved by seeds sown needs don't move God it is seeds that move God he said when you come to my house take with you words bring forth your strong reason father can this is what I'm going through God said no ah you can't see my condition God said no I see your solution not your condition make for me first the woman started explaining started explaining can I give you something can I give you something number three can I give you something Hear these pastors. This will bless you. God said to the woman, Elijah said, go and get me water. Eh? As she was going to get water, he has, he has not gone to come. He said, also add cake. The woman stopped. What do you say make her bring? Water. On my way! Cake. There is instruction inside the instruction. There is instruction in instruction. If you are ready to obey number one, God will tell you number two. Am I opening somebody's eyes to see something, man? The reason there is no further instruction is because you have not obeyed the previous. I pray for you that every instruction from God that you have not been able to have capacity to obey I release the obedience anointed that after now you will obey easily you will obey easily you will obey easily what has God told you that you have not been able to carry out what has God told you that you have not been able to do after now the grace to do it the grace to obey the grace to walk in the covenant the grace to walk in mystery the grace to do greater things may that grace come on your head may that grace come on your life may that grace come on your destiny that amen is not a God 